Hey everyone, this is Kevin from themathworld.com and today we're going to be going over logarithms. What they are, what they look like, and how to solve them. So, a logarithm you'll see looks like this. A lot of times I'll say, what is this? So it's good to know what they're asking for. And what a logarithm is, is this is the base right here. And a lot of times, more likely than not, you'll see a base 2, a base 10, or even a base E, the letter E. But in this case, we'll look at 2 here. And what this is asking is 2 to the what power is equal to 8. Another way that you can actually write this is 2, whatever this is, question mark in this case, equals 8. And so one of the things that you need to know to know logarithms is you need to know your exponent. So you need to know that 2 squared is equal to 4. You need to know what this number up top is. You need to know that 2 to the third power means 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And so in this case, since 2 to the third power, or 2 cubed, is 8, in the same way, this is 3. 2 to the third power is equal to 8, which written down here, 2 to the third power is equal to 8. And so this is how you're going to be using logarithms and solving it. We'll look at another example here. Let's say we have log base 10, which is very common that you'll see, and we have 100 here, and it says, what is the answer here? As you can already tell, another way we can write this is 10 to the what power is equal to 100. And so in this case, you can probably already guess 10 squared equals 100. So 2 goes here, and in the same way, our answer is 2. Now it's very important to know that if you have, we'll say, log base 2, if you have 8 times 4 equals what? This is a, I did a dot for times, but if you do it times, then you can write this also, log base 2, 8, plus log base 2, 4. So anytime you see these multiplied in here, you can rewrite it adding. And we'll go ahead and take a look at why here. If you take a look at log base 2, 8, we already said before that this is 3. And if you look here, log base 2, 4, 2 to the what power is equal to 4? Well, 2 squared is equal to 4, so this is 2. So 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. And in the same way, 8 times 4 is 32, and 2 to the what power is equal to 32? And the answer, if you haven't already guessed it, is 5. And so it doesn't matter which way you solve it, if you do it as 1, 2 to the what power equals 32, or if you break it up, 8 times 4, because they could give you 32 and you could break it up yourself, 8 and 4. And if they do it like this, then you can just add them as you see at the bottom. In the same way that they multiply, on a simple term here, if you see 8 divided by 4, now obviously we know that 8 divided by 4 is 2, but for simplicity's sake, we can also write this, log 2, log base 2, 8, minus log 2, 4 equals. So in this case, you can already see, we know that this is 3, and this is 2, so 3 minus 2 is 1, and in the same way, 8 divided by 2, 8, excuse me, 8 divided by 4 is 2, 2 to the first power is 2, so 1. But when you get more complex, then you may not see 8 divided by 4, it may be something more complex where you actually do need to break it up. But if it's divided by, then you can just subtract, and that's an easy way. Another thing that you'll want to know is if you have, let's take log 2, let's say you have 4 squared equals what? If you have 2 here, what you can do is take that number and put it in front. So instead now we have 2 log base 2, 
4 is equal to what? It's the same thing, and a lot of times it'll simplify because now you can just solve this, and we know that log base 2 to 4, 2 to what power equals 4, as we talked about before. And we know that 2 squared is equal to 4, so this is equal to 2 times 2 is 4. So log base 2, 4 squared is going to be equal to 4. Again, all you can do is just take this and bring it out here and then you can take it away. In the same way, you may see a problem. Let's say log, let's do 10 this time. And we'll do, let's do 1,000, but we'll do the cube root. And we'll say, what is this? Well, it's good to know that the cube root is the same as doing 1,000 to the one-third power. So the cube root is the same as raising it to the one-third power. And like we talked about before, any exponent we have up here, we can just take it and put it out here. So we can completely get rid of this, and we're going to multiply one-third by whatever answer we get here. And so we have 10 to the what power equals 1,000. And so 10 to the third power, 10 times 10 times 10, is going to equal 1,000. So we have 3 here, and then 3 times 1 third is 1. So before, if you were to see this problem, and you saw log base 10, the cube root of 1,000, you may have been like, what in the heck is going on? But just know that anytime you see this, you can make it a fraction and then bring that fraction out here and then it's easier to solve. So one last thing I do want to take a look at is a lot of times you may see log to the, it may just give you x, maybe not a question mark, but it may give you x and they may say 16 is equal to we'll say 4. And they may say what is x? A lot of times they may not give you the base and the log. They may give you the answer and ask you to find the base. So in this case we can set it up again. x to the fourth power is equal to 16. And in this case we're going to solve the base and as you may have already guessed I did a pretty basic one. 2, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 16. So our base in this case is 2, but that's how you're going to solve it. All you have to do is set up an equation like this and then find the fourth root of 16. So these are logarithms and this is an easy way to use them and this is exactly what they're looking for. You're just looking for the base to what power is equal to this number right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on logarithms. If you haven't checked out the website, themathworld.com, make sure you Take a look at it, and there's also some practice problems on this. And also, if you haven't subscribed to the YouTube channel, if you would, please go ahead and do that, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.